Once you have achieved the correct valve settings, it's a good idea to mark the valve positions. This gives you a handy starting point when making a fresh batch of brine. In most cases, this means after the hopper has been drained and cleaned and you are starting out fresh on the season. If the hopper is less than half full of salt, it would be a good idea to retest the salinity. Be sure to conduct a salinity test each time a new batch of brine is produced. When testing is complete and the main brine tank is filled, the float will shut off the flow of water through the diaphragm valve. Some water will continue to flow out of the downspout pipes after the valve has closed. This is normal. The float is factory set to allow for this overflow. If only a single batch of brine is needed, the water supply can be turned off. For automatic fill and refill, simply leave the water supply turned on. Any brine that is pumped out will then be automatically replaced. It's important to note that once the tanks have been filled, it is normal for them to bulge over time. This occurs under normal operating conditions. Bulging does not threaten the integrity of the tanks. It is also normal for the tack welds inside the tanks to sometimes crack loose. These welds are used only for positioning during construction and are not meant to be structural welds. Once the main brine tank has been filled to the desired level, pumping the brine into a truck or storage tank can begin. Connect the fill hose to the quick disconnect coupling and connect the other end to the truck tank. If the truck tank or storage tank is not equipped with a one and a half inch quick disconnect coupler fitting, other attachment means must be utilized. Make sure that the remote pump switch is in the off position with the toggle switch down. Push in the reset button on the ground fault interrupter receptacle located beneath the waterproof outlet cover on the electrical junction box. Open the hose valve all the way. All hose valve connections between the system and the tanks must be open before turning on the remote pump switch or excessive back pressure on the pump can result. The remote switch may now be turned on to fill the tank. Once the pump has filled the tank to the desired level, turn the remote pump switch off and close any valves to prevent backflow. It's very important that the pump be turned off before closing any hose valves or excessive back pressure will build against the pump and piping. Following these simple steps will ensure effective and consistent salt brine production every time. If you have questions at any time, refer to this video along with the instruction manual for safe and smooth operation. At the end of each season, it is necessary to perform a major cleaning and system flush. Do not allow the system to remain full of salt and brine. Keeping the system clean will provide an easier startup the following season. You must drain the secondary tank first to avoid hydrostatic buoyancy. If there is liquid in the secondary tank and none in the main brine tank or hopper, these two inner tanks will act like a bobber and can lift upward. This creates excessive force that will literally tear apart the tanks and piping. Next, if a floor drain is not available, provide a vessel or catch basin for leftover road salt residue and sediment to drain into. Unscrew the three inch plugs at the end of the drain pipes located at the bottom outside corners of the secondary containment tank. After the majority of the residue and sediment has drained out of the tanks, it is recommended that dirt and salt residue be scraped from the overflow screens using a screwdriver or wire brush. Use a spray hose to remove the remaining salt residue and sediment towards the lower sump area. Some truck stations use a storm sewer vacuum truck to suck up any salt left over at the end of the season. This works very well for fast, easy cleaning. When the hopper tank and main brine tank are empty and clean, put some pipe dope on the threaded plug and screw the plug back in. If the system is to be stored outside, leave all the drain plugs out. It is extremely important to flush the pump at the end of the winter season in order to keep the pump in good operating condition. This can be accomplished by filling the cleaned main tank with fresh water and pumping it out into a catch basin or vessel. Another method is to place the pump into a five gallon pail of antifreeze for the off season. Keep the pump submerged until the system is placed back into service. Be sure to hose off any remaining salt residue from the piping, valves, and all exposed surfaces. Veritech Industries offers a variety of other products to meet your snow and ice control needs. 
Mobile bulk storage tanks provide secondary containment for on-site brine storage. These units also fit in standard DOT truck beds and feature gas-powered pumps and may be equipped with spray bars and controls. Double-walled stationary bulk storage tanks provide large volume storage with secondary containment as required in some states. These units are constructed of one-piece, non-corrosive molded polyethylene. They are available in sizes up to 5,000 gallons. The heated brine system shelter enables you to keep your de-icing system near your salt storage bins and out of your other buildings. It can be placed on asphalt or concrete pads and is already wired and plumbed. The unique design allows the brine system to be filled through the roof and an exterior alarm light warns when the temperature drops inside the shelter. The critical area spot spreader, seen earlier, is the perfect answer for localized snow and ice control. This unit enables the treatment of specific critical areas such as school crossings, intersections, hilly areas, freeway entrance ramps, bridges, overpasses and parking lots. While your larger trucks are pre-wetting the main roads, you can now effectively provide the best possible service to critical areas with Veritex Critical Area Spot Spreader. For more information on these and other snow and ice control products, contact Veritech Industries Incorporated of Garfield, Minnesota. Call toll free at 888-208-0686 or visit our website. Veritech, the world's leading manufacturer of salt brine production systems.